everyone, how's it going? So I'm here today to bring you guys a Blu-ray unboxing video. All of the movies I'll be showing you today are movies that I purchased from Amazon's recent Prime Day sale, uh, with the exception of a few. There's a couple I bought from Target. Um, it was like a buy two, get one free, I believe is what it was. But most of the movies that I'll be showing you today came from Amazon's Prime Day sale. But these are all of the packages that I've had waiting for me. Um, I was actually out in New England for the past uh, week and a half and and most of these movies came while I was gone. So um, now that I'm home, I'm excited to show you guys the uh, unboxing of all of these, these Blu-rays. Now there are actually a couple of titles that I'm still waiting on and they've been back ordered pretty heavily. Uh, those being Raya and the Last Dragon on 4K from Target and then Beetlejuice on 4K from Amazon. And while I'm waiting for those two titles, I figured I'd show you the rest of the movies that I purchased from these sales. So the first package we're going to open up is uh, two titles that I got from Target. If I can remember correctly, it was a buy two, get one free. And I bought three 4Ks that were all actually pretty decently priced. So I was able to get all three of these 4Ks for $35, I believe. Which personally I think is a steal, um, especially once you see the, uh, the two titles I got in addition to Ryan the Last Dragon. Without further ado, the uh, first title that I'm going to show you, if I can, if it's not stuck to anything, uh, on 4K, I purchased Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. I've had the Blu-ray for several years now, and I've been eager to upgrade this to 4K, and I know that this is going to look spectacular in that format. And then the next movie I got, this was only like $11, I think which I was really surprised about. But anyways, it is um, Steven Spielberg's West Side Story remake. I watched this movie for the first time a few months back um, and I really loved it. I think it's honestly one of his best movies. And compared to the original, I think this is just as good as that original. Now onto the packages from Amazon. All the movies I bought from Amazon will eventually have come in like four packages. I'm pretty sure there was an option where I could just have them all shipped together, but I'm I'm not that smart, so <laughs> I didn't do that. But I believe this is just one title in here, and that is correct. This is another 4K title. I think you'll only see one Blu-ray from this haul. Everything else will be 4K, which is kind of how I'm going to be purchasing movies from now on, um, is either getting the 4K or upgrading to 4K. And then if they just have a Blu-ray, I'll just get the Blu-ray. But this is one that I've been wanting for quite some time, and that is Man of Steel on 4K. And I can hear that uh, <laughs> the discs are loose, which is um, which is fine, not really, but you get what I mean. But anyways, uh, this is a this has been my all-time favorite Superman movie. I grew up watching Superman Returns, but there is something about Man of Steel that I really love, and I'm really excited for James Gunn's Superman that comes out next year. Okay, I know both of these boxes are going to be, whoa, I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna save um, this box for last because I think my favorite thing that I got is in that, that box, but we'll see. So this box I'll open up first. We will, we'll see what's in it. All right. So the first movie I see on top is the one and only Blu-ray that I, I purchased. Um, and that is Priscilla. This was like $7, which I was really happy to see for such a low price because I really do love this movie. And I think it's one of the better movies that came out last year. Um, I watched this during the time when I was watching most of Sofia Coppola's movies. And aside from Lost in Translation, this is my favorite one from her. So really excited to have the Blu-ray of this in my collection. All right, and the other title that I have in this box is one of two box sets that I purchased from this haul, and I'm really excited about this one. It is the Alfred Hitchcock Collection, or the Alfred Hitchcock Classics Collection, uh, Volume 2. I have the first volume, and when I came back from California, I saw that they had released a second and a third volume, so it's more money for me to spend, and I decided to grab this one for only $30, I think is how much this was. But anyways, I haven't seen any of these movies and I don't really know anything about any of these. 
Scott Saboteur, Shadow of a Doubt, The Trouble with Harry, Marnie, and Family Plot. So, uh, five new Alfred Hitchcock movies to watch, all in 4K. We're gonna pass this one up. All right, off to the last package that I have to um, unbox for all of you today. I can't remember what all is in this box, aside from the one box set. And uh, I am really excited to show you that one box set. It might just be the box set. I don't know, I can't quite remember, so. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot about that one. I forgot about this, uh, this one that I got, so. Up on top, the first movie that I have to showcase is 2001 A Space Odyssey on 4K. Another one of my all-time favorite movies and one that I just couldn't pass up getting on 4K and really happy that I have this in the collection now. All right, this one I am super excited to have in the collection. These are movies that I've been wanting to rewatch for quite some time and this box set was only $40 for these four movies on 4K and that is the Batman four film collection. This includes Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. And with this box set, I now own pretty much every single live action Batman movie um, on 4K. Uh, got the original four, the Dark Knight trilogy, and then the new, uh, the Batman movie. I was really wanting to splurge on a pretty big box set for the Prime Day sale. I was debating between like the Harry Potter movies and the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy and those kinds of franchises, but I settled on getting the original four Batman movies. And for $40, 10 bucks a piece, I really can't pass this one up. So there you have it. That is my haul for today. I'm still missing a few titles, but once those do arrive in the mail, I will be uh, really excited to have those in the collection. So thank you all for checking out this video. I do apologize that I haven't been super active on YouTube. Um, school really got in the way um, up until the time that I came home for the summer. And it will likely be the same when I go back to school in September. So I really wanna make videos for you guys and I do enjoy making them, but I definitely don't have as much time as I did before. I actually have two other movie night vlog videos that I, that have just been sitting, waiting to be edited. And I really wanna make those. They're gonna come way past um, the time that they were relevant, but, um, those videos I do want to release at some point. So hopefully those will come in the near future. We'll see. I am home for the summer, so I do have more time than I did while I was out for school. So with that being said, thank you all for watching and supporting me over the years. I really do appreciate it. Um, you can find me on social media. I am on X, Instagram, and Letterboxd. I'm still getting used to that. Uh, you can follow me on those. The links for those can all be found in the description of this video. And thank you all for watching once again, and we'll see you next time.